I'm Cool As Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do a review on the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Before we get started, I just have mascara on, and I just applied lipstick a few seconds ago. This is a pre-recorded video. The lipstick that I'm wearing is the L'Oreal Colorish Lipstick in Peach Fuzz, and it's amazing. I'm going for more of a natural makeup. I'm having a good skin day. All the makeup that I'll be using will be in the description below. Plus, this is all drugstore and affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's chit chat. Let's get started. I got this back in March 2021 for $14.49 at Shoppers Drug Mart Canadian. I'm not sure if I got it on sale for $10.99. I'm... I'm not sure. This product came out spring 2021, and I was thinking that tinted moisturizers might be good for my skin, and they are. And I'm most familiar with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in their lighter shade. This is the closest that I have. It is 103 Light Nude. I wish they have a fair porcelain because this has a yellow undertone on me. And my skin tone, well, the undertone is cool. This has a yellow undertone. I prefer more of a pink undertone. It has a natural look, fresh feel, buildable coverage, and 12-hour hydration. And there's some ingredients, which is very true. This is lightweight. It does not contain SPF, so I had to put... A skin sunscreen on this is good for all skin types my skin type is oily but I do have dry patches on my nose and it doesn't cling to dry patches it has 76 percent natural origin ingredients and it has owl aloe like aloe vera gel the net weight is one fluid ounce and 30 milliliters which is decent it comes in a cute squeezy cute bottle with a pale yellow font i guess and this part is see-through so you can see the color this is the lighter shade that i got 103 i hope they have a lighter shade like in the regular foundation line like the matte and poreless i wish they had 102 fair porcelain which I'm really fair myself. I burn easily in sunlight. So it's good. I'm going to see if it has a smell. It sort of has like an aloe smell, but it smells like makeup. And I'm going to drop some on the back of my hand so you can see that. I don't know if the camera is picking up, but this is Florida Shade 103. It has a yellow undertone. It's for fair skin with a yellow undertone. I have a pink undertone myself. And it's a little bit runny formula. Let me blend it in. And after I'm done filming, I'm going to wash my hands to save money on some makeup wipes. Because I know that's bad for the environment. Hey, it blends in really good. I hope I don't look like an Oompa Loompa at the end of the day. Well, I don't... I can smell that owl scent from here. Here's what 103 looks like on the back of my hand. I am 102 Fair Porcelain in their regular foundation line. It looks good. And I'm going to apply it on camera for you guys. I need the primer because I have oily skin. For primer, I'm taking the Maybelline. Baby skin primer. I need another one because I love it this much. It's a clear silicone base primer. It's great for oily skin. And I'm going to dot it and then blend it in. And I'm going to wait for this primer to dry for a few seconds. Just a little bit more. I need to get another one. I need to create a makeup shopping list of some of my makeup 
favorites and some new products to try. And now blend it in with my hands. This primer is great for oily skin. A silicone based primer is great for oily skin. And this is completely clear, which is perfect for all skin tones. And I use this for my base a lot. I use it for the regular foundation and it's good. And now on my forehead. I'm going to wait 30 seconds for this to dry and I'm going to be right back. Now that my primer has dried for a little bit, I'm going to shake it and then dot some on my pointer finger. Look how much coverage that is. And I'm going to blend down my jawline because I know that this has a yellow undertone to it. And I noticed that I have some facial freckles that I noticed recently. And then on my forehead, I hope I don't get it into my red hair. And this is a liquidy formula. And the best way to apply to the moisturizer, BB cream, or CC cream is with your fingers that God gave you. I'm going for a really light layer. I'm not setting it with powder, so I have to be extra, extra careful. I wish Maybelline would make this tinted moisturizer in a lighter in a lighter shade. This is the lightest that they have. I apply way too much on this side, but I'm going to ignore it. I wore it off camera before, and it looked amazing. Even my mom agreed, and she has the exact same shade as me. She's a shade darker than me, but still ivory, she told me. And then on the nose, it's a little bit tricky. And then for my brows, I'm going for 90 style brows. I don't want anything on my brows or on my hair. Because that will be embarrassing. And then on the forehead, I'm not going to set it. I'm going to let it be. I have oily skin myself. This blends out really nice with the fingertips. Here's what the Maybelline Fit Me to the Moisturizer looks like with a finger application. Let me blend my a little bit on my nose. Here's what 103 looks like for someone who has Fair skin with cool undertones. I can see a little bit of my facial freckles peeking through. It has a light coverage. Here's what my face looks like compared to my neck. I wish they had it in a lighter shade like 102. But they will do that in the future. For someone who has fair skin with cool undertones, this is more for fair skin with warm undertones. I'm more of a cool undertone person when it comes to foundation. I love the finish. It's very natural. Will I buy this type of moisturizer again? Yes, the finish is very natural i can smell the aloe scent with it it applied well it applied and blend easily with my fingertips i'm gonna wash my hands after i'm done filming it provided decent coverage it's great for the summertime the only complaint that i had 
is I wish they would make it in a lighter shade for someone who has fair skin with cool undertones 102. This is for fair skin with warm undertones. Well, they probably do that in the future. So, stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.